So tonight, we finally make a dream come true for celebrity star number five. Hello, I'm Mark Radcliffe. Monday to Thursday, late at night, you'll hear my disembodied voice at Radio 2, live from this place, the BBC on Oxford Road in Manchester. Here we go, live. Hello, Mark Radcliffe here in Manchester with more... I think of all people who know me, well, quite surprised that I've sort of come out of my comfort zone of darkened radio rooms and done, uh, get into the bright lights of show business on a Saturday night on the telly. I'm slightly surprised myself, to be honest. These are some of the guitars that were used on the classic Shy Horses album that myself and Mark Riley did, and it's broken there, because uh, after I took it off, I just threw it on the floor every night. Rock and roll! Kylie Minogue sat here, um, uh, Robbie sat there, David Bowie sat there, Paul McCartney sat there. This is uh, my original copy of David Bowie, Ziggy Stardust, which uh, if push came to shove, um, I would still pick as my favourite album of all time. I would say it's got to be more than what? 50 records here, easy. Perhaps even more than 60, who knows? These are the New York Dolls. I don't think I'm going to be nervous at all. I mean, that might sound terribly arrogant. That doesn't mean that I think I'm going to be good. <laughs> you know, as I say, it'll be over with quickly for everybody's sake. A transmission transformation with Mark Radcliffe. How are you? Jeez. I'm fantastic. Are you looking forward to this? No, yeah, looking forward to it. It should be our life. It, eh? it should. It yeah. should be all right. <laughs> now, tell us about some of the people you've interviewed. The two big ones for me, because when I was growing up, my hero was David Bowie, yeah. and I got to uh, go to New York and interview him, which was yeah. I was God, I was so excited. I'm very you know? jealous. Yeah. After he'd gone, I took a photograph of his sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other big one more recently was getting to go and uh, interview Kate Bush. Wow. At her house, and that, that's actually um, all people want to know. Because nobody, nobody no. gets an interview with Kate Bush. Absolutely. So I went to her house for um, uh, cheese flan for lunch, and we talked, and she was lovely. And she's uh, people think she's this kind of uh, gothic witch living in a big castle, <laughs> and she's just the most lovely, ordinary working mum. Mm. That you can, and that's why she doesn't do anything because she's kind of you know takes it seriously being a mum, and yeah. she pops into the shed and makes the odd album, and uh, yeah. that's her life, and she's wonderful. Give us a few clues about the person you're going to be. Right, well, um, I'm a big fan of this, real big fan of this person. And uh, though he kind of has a, a reputation as a proud Irishman, mm -hmm. he was actually born in England. Okay. Um, his big hit that everybody knows, because it came out again last year, was a duet with Kirsty McCall. Okay, yep. And uh, he's, uh, he, from time to time, and, and more recently he's got back with them, backed by a fantastic band of musicians called The Pogues. Okay, so come on, tell us, who are you going to be tonight? Tonight, Kat, I'm going to be Shane McGowan. Shane <laughs> Oh, good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Off you go. <laughs> Singing the Irish Rover live, Mark Radcliffe is Shane McGowan. Yeah. 
forgot in Tyro There was Johnny McGurk It was Shaq Simmerworth And a man from a street called The Hole When I was slug I wrote to the was drunk as a girl Tied in Bill Tracy from Dover And your man made the gun From the banks of the front Was the street of the Irish Rover Was reduced and it's too just So I cut the toes and top And the shit struck the rock Oh my, what a shock The poker was sure right over Turn nine times around And the poor old dog was drowned It's <laughs> ah, the Irish Rover How are you? I'm good. Oh, yeah. I'm good. Now, you're actually a huge fan of this person. I think a lot of people know Shane McGowan and they think of him just as a drunk and he, he does like a drink, there's no yeah. signal. But I think he has written some of the most brilliant songs that yeah. I've heard in my life. And you've actually met him, haven't you? I have met him, yeah. I don't know whether he remembers. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, yeah, which was a big thrill, you know. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I uh, interviewed him for a programme we did for the radio and uh, he's one of my heroes and it was fantastic to meet him. You know what, more than anything, it looked as though you were having a great time. Well, I mean, what's the point in doing it unless you can have a laugh? What is <laughs> What is the point? What would be the point? Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Radcliffe as Shane McGowan! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.